I already want to start moving in my code uh, some of my uh, some of my logic from my com component and creating these composable functions. So again, you can do a quick search for view three composables and then read through if you don't know what they are. But I'm going to start using this already now. So start moving my functionality into these ones. So what basically what I want to do is take this parts of my setup what I have here move it in, into another file and then importing or invoking calling them when I need them. And again, so I can create these uh, reusable functions, right? So if I need to have a get all on different uh, components, I can just call the function instead of having to pass or copy all of this into the new function. And if I make a change, then I have to make a change everywhere. So for this, I'm going to just click source here. Uh, so it's expand, so I'm making sure I'm here. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm gonna call it modules because that's what most people do apparently. Um, so in here, I'm going to create my file. Now I'm gonna name mine crud uh, to, no, no, I'm gonna call it cr to do cruds. Um, doesn't really matter. Uh, and it's a JS file here. So in this specific file, the reason I'm gonna call this is because I'm gonna use it for multiple things. So I'm gonna, all the logic for to do's I'm going to put in this one. Uh, you can separate them up if you want to. So one for create, read, update, and delete. If that's your thing, you can do this. So once I'm done with the first one, you can basically copy this template for the other ones as well, and then use it like this. But uh, before I, I talk more about this, so let's start creating our, uh, our file here. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna skip a line because I need something at the top. Eventually, I'm gonna create a const and I'm gonna call this get to do's, uh, like so. And we are going to save this and use this as a function. So, and I'm gonna use the federal notation. So I'm just creating the structure for this right now. So we have to do, which is a function, which uses the federal, for the function arrow. And in here we have whatever we want to happen in the function, right? So this is the basic setup. Now, what I want to use or copy basically is this one here. So I want to create a state. So I'm also going to move this part out of my component because I only want it to be imported or invoked when I need it. So it shouldn't be anywhere unless I need to use it, right? So in here, I'm going to create a const state, which is the same, but I'm going to try to use ref so you can see a difference here. Um, and you can basically use either one for objects, which is sort of weird and funny at the same time. And the structure is basically the same as the other one. It's just refs instead of reactive right now. So since we're using this up here, I had to import reactive and uh, unmounted. So I need to import in this case ref uh, from the view. Uh, so ref from view, uh, do the right button like so. So now I'm able to use ref, otherwise I'll get an error. So just again, make sure that you're still inside the const to do here. So do an enter. And in here, I'm going to create my const called get all to do's, right? So this will also be a function, right? So I'm gonna create the structure for this. Where's the, the key? There we go. But in this one, I'm going to set this as an async one. So. I'm going to attach the async here. So this is an anonymous function, right? No, it's actually not anonymous because it has a name here, uh, but it's an async function. So this means while we're inside this, I can now start using the try catch from uh, async here. So I'm gonna start with just creating the structure for this one. I'm basically going to do the same thing as I do in here, but with a exported function and the async pass to as well, or using the async. So we have a try and we have a catch like this. So that's the standard structure when we use a async in here. Now I wanna use the await as before, and I'm gonna copy this one now because I'm just too lazy. So uh, fetch that part. So this is fetch then then, and I'm gonna paste this in here like this, and, or you can just write it by hand, but basically we have the, uh, the fetch here, where we go for, from the routes we created and then we do our two uh, promises here and nothing really changed other than this one because we can't do this now because we're using a ref. So when we're using a ref, we have to use dot value to grab the actual information from this one. So here where I just did store dot to do's, uh, store state, 
uh, we need to do state.value because that's how refs work. So there's a new possible way where we can use one of those, but I'm not entirely sure how it works yet. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. But this is the first part of it. So we create again a constant. It's an asynchronous function. So we use try. So try this. If this doesn't work, then we have our catch here, right? So in my catch, if I have an error, I'm going to grab that error and I'm going to console log it out uh, so we can see the issue with this one. So this is basically what I want this to, to do for now, right? And as a normal, um, as in here as well, when we're using whatever we're using, we need to return whatever we're going to expose to the HTML of the template, right? So make sure it's after the this one here. So you can click up here and check where the end bracket is for this one. So after this one, we're going to do our, ret oops, our return. So in here, I'm going to return state because that is the name of what I want to use up here. And the other thing I want to return is this one here. So get all to do's. I'm just going to do it on multiple lines because eventually this will grow bigger. So returning the state and returning all to do, uh, get all to do's. So these are the two things I'm doing. And you might wonder, what about this one? Yes, we need to tell the system this is what we want to call or this is what we want to invoke. So it grabs this information in here. So after all of this, we need to do we need to do a x oops, export default and then the name we want to use for it. So I'm going to use get to do's. Now, if I only had one of these in here, so if I were creating several, no, not several, if I was creating a singular, um, function that I want to export, I can just do the export up here instead like this, uh, instead like using the default down here. So it's, it's two different ways of doing it basically, but I'm going to do it like this because I want to destructure it later on. So I'm going to click save and then in the next video, I'm going to start using this one in or start doing it in, start invoking it in here. See you in the next one.